I'll pray to speak to the eternal glory of God. So let's resume with Ecclesiastes, the preacher, please. Chapter 7. Wisdom gives life to them that have it. All men are sinners. God has made man upright. That's the inscription recap. A good name is better than precious ointment, which is a reference to the nard ointment in my tomb. And Judas gets angry and says, Why the ointment? Yeah, it's a waste of money, he says. A good name is better than precious ointment, and the day of death than the day of one's birth. See, this is the gospel now. The day of one's death and then the day of one's birth, obviously because we're being released from this accursed world. So that's the pr truth that everybody has to follow but can't swallow. No, life is beautiful. No, it's not. It's dreadful vexation of spirit and vanity. It's awful. All who love this life will lose it. That's the gospel. God doesn't want you to love this. He wants you to just wake up and see the reality that it's miserable here without him. The separation from God is what makes this so vexing. How can you think this is pleasant? This is my question to you. Do you really? Then you have not been reading about what God's promising after this. There are many mansions. I would not tell you this if it were not true. All right. So... Wisdom gives life to them that have it. Okay, let's start over. A good name is better than precious ointment, and the day of death than the day of one's birth. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting, for that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to his heart. Sorrow is better than laughter. For by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. Of the countenance, the heart is made better. But, sorry, the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. You see fools are always laughing really loud, cackling and drinking. What are you laughing about? It's just an escape from the reality that this is an accursed, wretched vexation of spirit, and this is vanity. All of this that you see pre-heaven is vanity. It's just nonsense. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools, meaning the fools say, oh, don't worry, everything's fine. Be happy, you know. That's what the devil wants you to think. Gather you rosebuds because he's telling you there's no heaven. No, this is work. This world is toil. God says it to Cain, and he says it at the first transgression. There's going to be soil in your face, and it's going to be sweat in your brow with dirt. You're going to get down in the ground and work with rigor. That's this horrible life. For as the crackling of thorns under a pot, so is the laughter of the fool. This also is vanity. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. Better is the thing of a sorry. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. <laughs> because it's coming to this conclusion that we're all waiting for, even though, we're no, even though we think we're having fun, we're thinking there's going to be an end to this and we're sort of wanting it with dread to just end, you know, so our hopes aren't kept up in this willing suspension of disbelief, you know. Anyway, this is good. It's, it's chapter seven, line seven. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad 
and a gift destroyeth the heart. Again, eight, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Meaning, be patient and wait for God, not proud like Satan. I'm going to rise above the Most High who created me. No, you're not. You will be brought down to the pit, to hell, to the sides of the pit. Men will walk by thee and look at thee narrowly and say, Is this the man that causes the universe to tremble? This guy? Yeah, okay. Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger resteth in the bosom of fools. You're just being angry at God for his will, whatever it is at the moment. And that's easier said than done, of course. Say not thou, what is the cause that the former days were better than these? We all do that, of course, all day long. For thou dost not inquire wisely concerning this. God, remember, wants you to rejoice in the day of prosperity, but in the day of adversity consider that God sets one next to the other so that in the end you see that there's only God. And that's really true. And those of you who have not been punished yet don't understand this and think that you're going to have this great ride forever. You're not. If you're not following God, you'll perish. The nations that do not follow him shall perish. Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, we say again, for anger resteth in the bosom of fools. Say not thou, what is the cause that the former days were better than these? For thou dost not inquire wisely concerning this. Wisdom is good with an inheritance, and be it there if profit to them that see the sun. For wisdom is a defense, and money is a defense. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. Consider the work of God. Sorry, let me say that again. Consider the work of God. For who can make that straight which he hath made crooked? In the day of prosperity be joyful. But in the day of adversity consider God also hath set the one over against the other to the end that man should find nothing after him, meaning God. All things have I seen in the days of my vanity. There is a just man that perisheth in his righteousness, and there is a wicked man that prolongeth his life in his wickedness. Be not righteous over much, neither make thyself over wise. Why shouldest thou destroy thyself? Be not over much wicked, neither be thou foolish. Why shouldst thou die before thy time? It is good that thou shouldest take hold of this. Yea, also from this withdraw not thine hand. For he that feareth God shall come forth of them all. Wisdom strengtheneth the wise more than ten mighty men which are in the city. For there, is a, for there is not a just man upon earth that doeth good, and sinneth not. Also take no heed unto all words that are spoken, lest thou hear thy servant curse thee. For oftentimes also thine own heart knoweth that thou sayest, likewise hath cursed others. All this have I proved by wisdom. I said, I will be wise, but it was thought for me. That which is far off and exceeding deep, who can find it out? I applied mine heart to know and to search and to seek out wisdom and the reason of things and to know the wickedness of folly, even of foolishness and madness. Notice reason, like reason, Remaliah, reason. I'll say that again. I applied mine heart to know and to search and to seek out wisdom and the reason of things and to know the wickedness of folly, even of foolishness and madness. 
and I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets and her hands as bands. Whoso pleaseth, whoso pleaseth God shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. Behold, this have I found, saith the preacher, counting one by one to find out the account. Which yet my soul seeketh, but I find not. One man among a thousand have I found, but a woman among all those have I not found. Lo, this only have I found, that God hath made men upright, but they have sought out many inventions. All praise be to God.